So now we got all the sprites. Now we're just gonna have to figure out how to. And this might be harder than I thought. I'm learning a lot of code, a lot about code. So what this will do is, if the down arrow is pressed, I'll see if it's touching its respective color. And if it is, then it'll make it make it hit. If not, it'll make it miss. Yeah, we're gonna have to add more of these. So we got the enemy spot set up. However, we might have to pivot here because, as you can tell, it's not a very solid structure. <laughs> or, you know what I mean. It doesn't seem very nice. However, Here's a thing we never thought about. Who's uh, who's the main character going to be fighting? So now we have two columns here. But the thing we're going to have to find out is how are we going to make the arrows like rise up? First thing I want to do is like these arrows are way too big. Let's shrink them a little bit. No, I actually added moves to them. It like moves. I added a danger and uh, I added an icon for each. And then I added a health bar. So we got that all set up. However, the major thing is making sure those actually do work. So So I added the air so I'm going to set them up. Okay, so I set up the arrows. And you guys are probably wondering, Alex, the arrows go up when um they're supposed to, uh, when, well, they're supposed to. These ones are just sitting there, even if you click this. Well, I haven't coded it yet. We sort of coated it, and it is not that much. It was... So now that we have actual colors, I can uncode it to... If touching that color, we can... First thing I'm going to do is change the backdrop. This is going to take a while, probably more than a few days. Seem like much when I edit it. Since I didn't want to warn you, I just uh, I'll just skip ahead to what I created so far. Now it might not look like much, but it's the beginning to um. First thing we're going to have to do is hide this. Well, I'll have to show it, but it's nearly impossible to see. Anyways, so what's happening is... Okay, let me show you. Uh, let me just show you. As it's touching this one, it's broadcasting this message, which one sent to this, changes its costume for just a second, and then changes it back. Doesn't seem that cool, uh, not untrusted yet. Oh, this is how we're going to code the arrows. 
I coded this right, everything should be... Okay. 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 <laughs> well, oh, oh. <laughs> Looks like I have to fix some things. How oh, much better? Okay, as you can tell, I haven't fully coded the arrows yet. We got some of the mechanics down. Awesome. This is day two of making enough enough in scratch. So I had a problem with the arrows, which was when they touched it, it wouldn't it would make them miss. So I figured out what happened and I created a weight of 0.01 seconds. It was I had to create a game over screen. So I decided to do this. So I combined it into a button, which is one. To make the twitch effect, I just made it, um, just made it like pixelate and then unpixelate. Can you kind of see it? Yeah. It's not done yet, but when you retry, it goes totally back to normal. And I added a score and a combo. Danger icon form and well I still have a lot to work on. So let's get started. Everything's going well so far. However, I want to make a few changes. Okay, so I made the game over screen look a lot better. Anyways, I'm gonna do something really quick. So we have a restart animation. You hit space while in the game over screen. You are able to do this. And then it will end all the code, hopefully. Hopefully 10 times is enough, let's see. And I'll end it. Okay, so it seems like we finished the game over screen. Everything's looking good. Now it's time to create more than one arrow. So I'm in the middle of coding the arrows, right? And then I have a genius idea. Here, let me show you.
That's right, Mr. Yellow Ball now has arms. Even in the game over. I really like how it's going so far. Seems really nice. And like, so let's continue. Okay, so none of the game over code actually worked if you didn't use the button, so I had to remove a lot of it. So yeah. However, I've gotten the arrows to work. There's still a bit I have to work on. But so far, so good. Okay, I got a lot of stuff done. Like, set up a score system. Set up an actual system for the arrows. Like, it doesn't look good so far, but it'll look better soon. And I'll add actual songs, too. So anyways, I think I'm gonna and that's gonna end it for day two. I'm gonna work on it tomorrow for the enemy and the actual system. Maybe even add a menu. So anyways, I'm gonna try to complete this challenge in just a week. We'll see how good I do. And I return with the solution again. Anyways, so I figured out why the game over screen wasn't working that well is because the ball was in the same position which was causing it to um, replay it over and over again which would mean it would never get to um, the rest of it. Anyways, I made it so that when it gets game over it will jump right back here and restart. So let's take a look. The only reason why it didn't work was because I was holding down the um, left button. But other than that, it seems to be working perfectly. And I found out how I'm going to make week six in this. Anyways. Okay, I have to make it stay as game over. So here we go. again so it appears the restart situation isn't working so I guess I'll just leave it at this I'm okay with it I mean I like this anyways so I found out how to fix it. Yeah. So there we go. Anyways, I'll work on it more to, uh, on day two. So I have, so I have two pieces of big news. Number one, I decided to see what it would be like in week six. Of course, this is just a test, but this will confirm to you that I am going to eventually make a week six. The game over screen does look a little bit weirder in week six since 
not everything is visible in this pixel form. But anyways, on to the actual thing. So I found out how to make it so that when you hit an, uh, if you miss an arrow, I'll take a bite out of your score. Like this. So it's going pretty well. Only thing that kind of went wrong with this was I had to change quite a bit of it because whenever you would hit an arrow, it didn't make it just disappear. I, I just made it um, not be visible. I didn't like make it disappear. So I fixed that by making it so that if you make a mistake, if you miss, if you hit one, then it'll just disappear. Anyways, let's continue. I think I'm going to finish this tomorrow. I think I'm going to work on it more tomorrow. However, I will be bringing the button mechanic for the game over and back but it'll be a different button like in the game okay i know i keep saying this uh, might have cut out i know i keep saying this but this will be the last update for today and pro uh, possibly the most notable update i brought back the retry system Yeah, so if you press space while, um, game over, it'll activate the retry system, and, it, and then, it ends everything. It stops everything. Anyways, I will, I will promise that is the last one I do today, because it's getting kind of annoying that I keep coming in. Anyways, that's the last one. Okay, so it is day four right now. Day four, I repeat. Anyways, I couldn't get anything done on day three because of the internet. The internet was being bad. Anyways, so something happened earlier today. I kind of accidentally removed the combo. And that removed every single piece of code I tr uh, I've done to the combo before. And I tried getting it back, but it's very hard work. So I decided I have important, I have more important things to focus on currently. I don't have time to focus on the um combo thing. But as you can see right here, I did set up, I did set up, um, this thing right here. Like, there's actually arrows for the cat. Now, and in case if you're wondering why this is here, I have hiccups right now, sorry. No. If you're wondering why this is here, oh, let me show you what happens if it's not there. In case if you couldn't tell, I also added levels, like actual levels. As you can see right there, you could see right there the arrows popped right through the top. 
and I couldn't figure out what piece of code was causing this. And you know what they say, if you can't fix something, just block it out. However, this right here might be more important than just blocking out a bug. Like it, like it might be a dashboard that might be a pause button right here. Like who knows? That was a weird noise. Anyway, so far, I made it that when you're done with your turn, the cat will do his turn, his second turn. However, I haven't coded that second turn on, um, you know, YB here. Yo, well. Which might be a good thing because you can see how much downs I'll have to press. Even this is giving me trouble. Like, I'll be honest here, I'm not good at it. No. Like so. Like you can see right there how much downs I would have to press. Anyways. I still haven't used the danger icon yet since I couldn't figure out how to get it to work. Might be uh, might be used in a later update. I'll keep you updated. So I've done. Uh, you probably can't hear me. Okay, so I've done a few changes since last time I showed you it. I turned the uh, I turned the annoying light bars into um like cinematic bars, and they're very important in the end. I released the demo, and then I'll work on a full game for it. So we need a title. I'll think about this and come back. I thought up a title. I'll link the game in the description. So far, there's only one song. So here it is. actually hard at least for noobs like me
Okay. Still, so it still needs some work. But I'll be better. Uh, I'll be good soon. Anyways, I also want to make this compatible for phones. So I'll set. That took an unnecessary long amount of time, but anyways, time to finish it off. Okay, Funky on a Friday night is ready to, uh, the demo is ready to go. So, so, I'll link it in the description. Enjoy.